to hit over trim this trim here. If you really want to get super technical about it, trim it off like that. And got a gristle that runs all the way down the back. I'll turn it around like this. I already did half of it. Okay, now look at the camera up this thing. Yeah, uh, this is Buck Chef Commander uh, flaying backstrap stakes uh, 101 class here. And all you do is just uh, make sure you ain't got no hair in there first place. And, uh, and then you just uh, cut it right here. You got a gristle, comes down already in half of this, and you got a gristle on the back side of your backstrap, looks like that. Just, uh, I cut it in half and cut it in stakes on the other half, and I'll show you how to do it on this half. But I like them about one inch, two inches, and just cut it like this right here. Make sure you got a good sharp knife. And you don't want to push real hard once you get down to the close to the gristle and just push down moderately and you might have to go through it once or twice and cut through it down to the gristle. You want a good sharp knife, it makes it a lot easier. But just go through it just like that. All the way down. And the closer you get to the end, you know, you go a little bit wider if you want to because it's going to get more narrow your back strap is. So you want to keep your stakes about the same size and when you get down to the end, you're not going to have much gristle left over at the very end on your back strap. So you just go down here and just flay it like you almost like flaying a flay a, a, a crappie or something, you know, if you want to flay a one side of it, you just come down through here and just kind of easily keep it at angle and pull pull the gristle if you can at the same time. And this is kind of a thin knife. I'm just pushing it through because it's so sharp, but I just pull most of it out right there. And then you just pull the stakes apart and get done like that. Most of your gristle is gone if you want to really get serious and like fancy smancy with it. You can finish it off by making sure there's none. That's any type of white gristle underneath left. Just kind of flay that off a little bit. Get it started. Usually you need to pull it most of the time off. Put that in your scrap pile. And that's what they make sinew out of. Is that part of it after this. you can scrape the meat off of it and cure it out and make sinew out of it and sew with it and stuff like that like you see on mountain man but take the little stakes off and you take a meat tenderizer hammer or if you have an electric meat tenderizer run it through it and just uh, tenderize it and i like to tenderize it like that and smash it down real good and put uh, flour and uh, egg wash if you want and whatever spices you like i like to use cabinets and, and then uh, chicken fry it one of the best things you ever eat if you know how to cure it out. You gotta cure it out first. That'll be another episode of Securing Out Pure Meat. Uh, Till next time with Bookshop Commander. Later. <laughs>